Good evening, and uh, today I'm reading uh, for day 56. Um, for some reason, I skipped um, yesterday and read for actually day 57. So actually, I'm reading, uh, I had to go back and catch up. So today is day 56, and I uploaded day 57 yesterday. So today is, um, I'm reading Numbers chapter 9, verse 11, Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. And once again, I'm reading 56 today, and yesterday I read 57. So I thought something felt funny, <laughs> like I had skipped, but you know I figured it out after it was over with. So after the day, I should be caught up. But once I do my tour days, then it really wouldn't matter anyway after that. So right now, I'm just um, I'm able to keep up. Hopefully, I won't forget a day, or we'll get off on a day, and I won't have to go back. But at any rate, um, I guess it's bound to happen. I think it's this is the second time it's happened already. So I imagine it probably will happen some more. Okay, so now, like once again, read in Numbers chapter 9 through 11 and uh, Mark chapter 5, verses 1 through 20. Chapter 9. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the first month of the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Let the children of Israel also keep the Passover at his appointed season. In the fourteenth day of this month at even, you should keep it in his appointed season according to all the rites of it and according to all the ceremonies thou shall ye keep it and moses spake unto the children of israel that they should keep the passover and they kept the passover on the 14th day of the month and even in the wilderness of sinai according to all that the lord commanded moses so did the children of israel and there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back, that we may not offer an offering of the Lord in his appointed season among the children of Israel? And Moses said unto them, Stand still, and I will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity should be unclean by reason of a dead body or be in a journey of far off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month at even, they shall keep it and eat it with the unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it until the morning, nor break any bone of it. According to all the ordinance of the Passover, they shall keep it. But the man that is clean and is not in a journey and forbear to keep his Passover, even the same soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he brought not the offering of the Lord in his appointed season. That man should bear his sin. And if a stranger should sojourn among you, and would keep the Passover to the Lord according to the ordinance of the Passover, and according to the manner thereof, so shall he do, ye shall have one ordinance, both for the stranger and for him that was born in the land. And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely the tent of the testimony, and at even there was upon the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire until the morning. So it was always the cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. At the commandment of the Lord, the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of the Lord they pitched. As long as the cloud abode among the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the cloud tarried along, tarried along upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge of the Lord and journeyed not. And so it was, when the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, according to the commandment of the Lord, they abode in their tents, and according to the commandment of the Lord they journeyed. And so it was, when the cloud abode from even until the morning and that the cloud was taken up in the morning then they journeyed whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up they journeyed or whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle remaining thereon the children of Israel abode in their tents and journeyed not but when it was taken up they journeyed at the commandment of the Lord they rested in the tents and at the commandment of the Lord they journeyed they kept the charge of the Lord at the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Chapter 10. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee trumpets of silver, 
of a whole piece shalt thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journey of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And if they blow but one trumpet, then the princes with which are heads of the thousands of Israel shall gather themselves unto thee. When ye blow in alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When ye blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be, and they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from the tap off the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran. And they took first their journey according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. In the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Judah according to their armies. And over his host was Nashon the son of Amenadab. And over the host of the tribe of children of Issachar was Nathaniel the son of Zuar. And over the host of the tribe of children of Zebulon was Eliab, Eliab the son of Helan. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward bearing the tabernacle and the standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their armies and over his journey over his host was Eliezer the son of Shedor and over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shelemiel the son of Zurishadai and over the host of the tribe of children of Gad was Elisaph the son of Duel and the Kohathites set forward bearing the sanctuary and the other did set up the tabernacle according against they came. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elishema, Elishema, the son of Amihud, and over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gimeolil, the son of Pitazor, and over the host of the tribe of children of Benjamin was Abidan, the son of Gideoni. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan set forward, which was the re-reward re of all the camps throughout their host. And over his host was Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. And over the host of the tribe of children of Asher was Pegio, the son of Okrin. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enon. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Israel according to their armies when they set forward. And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Rugiel, and Midianite, Rugiel the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, we are journeying unto the place of which the Lord said, I will give it you. Come thou with us, and we will, and we will do thee good, for the Lord has spoken good concerning Israel. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to my own land, and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray thee, for as much, much as thou knowest how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and thou mayest be to us instead of eyes. And it should be, if thou go with us, yeah, it should be that what goodness the Lord should do unto us, the same will he do unto thee. And they departed from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in the three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was upon them by day when they went out to camp. And it came to pass when the ark set forth, forth that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered. And let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, 
he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousands of Israel. Chapter 11. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them, and consumed them that were in the uttermost parts of the camp. And the people cried unto Moses, and then Moses prayed unto the Lord. The fire was quenched, and he called the name of the place Taberah, because the fire of the Lord burnt among them. And the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting, and the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who should give us flesh to eat? We remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers and the melons and the leeks and the onions and the garlic. But now our soul is dried away. There is nothing at all besides this manna before our eyes. And the manna was as coriander seed, and the color thereof was the color of bellium. And the people went about and gathered it and ground it in mills or beat it in a mortar and baked it in pans and made cakes of it. And the taste of it was as the taste of fresh oil. And when the dew fell upon the camp in the night, the manna fell upon it. Then Moses heard the people weep throughout their families, every man in the door of his tent. And the anger of the Lord was kindled greatly. Moses also was displeased. And Moses said unto the Lord, Wherefore hast thou afflicted thy servant? And wherefore have I not found favor in thy sight, that thou layest a burden of all the people upon me? Have I conceived all these people? Have I begotten them that thou shouldest say unto me, Carry them in thy bosom as a nursing father beareth the sucking child, and unto the land which thou swearest unto thy fathers? Which should I have flesh to give unto all this people? For they weep unto me, saying, Give us flesh that we may eat. I am not able to bear all this people alone, because it is too heavy for me. And if thou deal thus with me, kill me, I pray thee, out of hand, if I have found favor in thy sight. And let me not see my wretchedness. And the Lord said unto Moses, Gather unto me seventy men of the elders of Israel, whom thou knowest to be the elders of the people, and the officers over them, and bring them into the tabernacle of the congregation, that they may stand there with thee. And I will come down and talk with thee there, and I will take of the Spirit which is upon thee, and will put it upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with thee, that thou bear not thyself alone. And say thou unto the people, Sanctify yourselves against tomorrow, and ye shall eat flesh. For ye have wept in the ears of the Lord, saying, Who should give us flesh to eat? For it was well with us in Egypt. Therefore the Lord will give you flesh, and ye shall eat. And ye shall not eat one day, nor two days, nor five days, neither ten days, nor twenty days, but even a whole month, until it come out of your nostrils, and it be loathsome unto you, because that ye have despised the Lord which is among you, and have wept before him, saying, Why came we forth out of Egypt? And Moses said, The people whom I am are six hundred thousand footmen, and thou hast. I will give them flesh, that they may eat a whole month. Shall the flocks and the herds be slain up for them, to suffice them? Or shall the fish of the sea be gathered together for them, to suffice them? And the Lord said unto Moses, Is the Lord's hand waxed short? Thou shalt see now whether my Lord shall come to pass unto thee or not. And Moses went out and told the people the words of the Lord, and gathered the seventy men of the elders of the people, and set them round about the tabernacle. And the Lord came down in a cloud and spake unto him, and took of his spirit, of the spirit that was upon him, and gave it unto the seventy elders. And it came to pass that when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied and did not cease. But there remained two of the men in the camp. The name of the one was Eldad, and the name of the other Medad. And the Spirit rested upon them, and they were of them that were written, but went not out into the tabernacle, and they prophesied in the camp. And there ran a young man and told Moses and said, Eldad and Medad do prophesy in the camp. And Joshua the son of Nun, the servant of Moses, one of his young men answered and said, my Lord Moses forbid them. And Moses said unto him, Envious thou for my sake, would God that all the Lord's people were prophets, and that the Lord would put his spirit upon them? And Moses got him into the camp, he and the elders of Israel. And there went forth a wind from the Lord, and brought quails from the sea, and let them fall by the camp. And as it were a day's journey on this, on this side, 
and as it were a day's journey on the other side, round about the camp, and as it were two cubits high upon the face of the earth. And the people stood up all that day, and all that night, and all the next day, and they gathered the quails. He that gathered least gathered ten homer, homers, and they spread them all abroad for themselves round about the camp. And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. And he called the name of that place Kibroth Hadava, because they buried the people that lusted. And the people journeyed from Kibroth Hadava unto the unto Hezeroth and abode at Hazeroth. Mark chapter 5, verse 1 through 20. And they came over unto the other side of the sea, into the country of Gadarines, Gadarines. And when they was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no not with change, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains that had been plucked asunder him by him, and the fetters broken in pieces. Neither could any man tame him, and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when he say, when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is my thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there, nigh unto the mountains, a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. And forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city and in the country. And they went out to see what it was that was done. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid and they that saw it told them how it befell upon to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine and they began to pray him to depart out of their coast and when he was come into the ship he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him Howbeit Jesus suffered him not but said unto him Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord had done for thee and had had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in the capitalist how great things Jesus had done for him and all men did marvel.